at the inbound fly around and uh, and completing it just um, completing it uh, here while Starliner is at the 10 meter point that doesn't um, doesn't have anything to do with the docking ring but it it is a uh, demonstration of those sensors. Station Houston Space Ground 2 for Starliner status. One, two. Good news, the NDS troubleshooting was successful. Uh, the ground is in the process of re-extending the ring. We are expecting to make this window. All right, that's great news. We're standing by. And good news going up to the crew that the uh, docking ring troubleshooting has uh, has succeeded. It's looking good. So uh, the crew has uh, the crew on the International Space Station has been advised that uh, we will make this window. That means we are pressing forward to the f final approach initiation burn at 7:42 p.m. Central Time, which will lead to. A uh, contact time four minutes later, 7.46 p.m. Central Time. In the meantime, getting more great views of Starliner. And uh, as it hovers there, just, uh, just away from the International Space Station. MPO reports that the uh, docking ring is extending. MPO controller is uh, short for mechanical and power officer. So 
she is reporting that the docking ring is extended and then that's going to uh, um, otherwise keep us in uh, in position for a final approach initiation burn again our schedule is for 7:42 p.m. central time the star liner in the meantime is uh at 10 meters away from the forward port of the International Space Station. MPO reports that uh, the ring has been extended and is ready for capture. Station Houston, space to ground two. Houston is go for final approach. Stand by for final approach initiation call. Station copies go for final approach and stand by. And you heard there the crew being advised that the teams are go for final approach. All right, the teams here are uh, talking through. Uh, there is an opportunity to uh, execute the uh, final approach initiation much earlier than anticipated to beat a seven-minute handover, or a, a handover in seven minutes. Uh, we can expect the, the teams, they're talking about it now, to go ahead and execute that maneuver. And they just did. Final approach initiation has been commenced. Houston on two. Starliner final approach has begun. Perform steps eight and nine in one decimal one zero two. Uh, approach the docking port for the vehicle mode, steps eight and nine in work. Starliner inside 10 meters. And on the move, 0 0.04 meters per second. It'll take four minutes to close this distance of what is now less than nine meters to the International Space Station's forward port. Imagery we're seeing coming from the one of the external cameras on the ISS just shifted the views.
Yeah, watching uh, Starliner make its uh, make its final approach. Docking ring extended. Seven meters away from the forward port. Estimated contact a little bit more than two minutes. Crossing two minutes to contact right now. Starliner continuing to close in on the International Space Station at a distance of 5.3 meters, closing in at 0 0.05 meters per second, alternating views between the International Space Station and the Starliner sensors themselves as they close in on the forward port of the Harmony module. Starliner looking to connect to the International Docking Adapter there at the uh, forward end of Harmony. Docking ring extended, you can see some of the separation coming in with that inner ring. Those three pedals will inside four meters. One minute to contact. Inside three meters. Quiet in the control room. Starliner continuing to close in. Two meters, Starliner coming two meters to the International Space Station. One meter to docking, less than 20 seconds. Press to dock. Contact, capture. Soft capture confirmed. Copy, station showing good soft capture. Boeing Starliner spacecraft completes its historic first docking to the International Space Station, opening a new avenue of access for crews to the orbiting laboratory.